Okay guys, so I was sitting on my couch editing videos and I just got a call that my package was being delivered. So they were trying to buzz for me downstairs because I have to sign for my package. So I'm gonna run down there really quick and grab my package because I have been waiting for it. And thankfully I was home today to go downstairs and sign for it. I'm literally running down there in like my jacket and my pajamas and my uh, furry slides. And I'm going to go get my package, yay. Okay, so here it is, a really big box. Get it in the house. I'm just carrying it right now. <laughs> it's so big. I'm gonna sit in here and do a little unboxing of it. Uh, yes. Okay. Here it is. Big box. Let's flip it open. Hey guys, welcome back to The Daily Departure. I am a Chicago-based flight attendant and today I will be sharing with you guys the unboxing of my new work uniform. So, if you saw me dragging in that big box through my door and you're wondering, what is that? Let me give you some backstory. So the company that I work for decided they were going to be getting new uniforms for some of the people at work, including us flight attendants. So this has been something that they have been working on for the past maybe year and a half or so. And the first part of this whole process was last year, they had a group of other flight attendants um, and gate agents and some other workers trying out the uniform. I was actually part of that uniform wear test team last year. So I was already in this uniform for about six months last year. But during that process, we were asked a lot of questions and were able to give our opinions on some of the outfits and the uniform pieces that we were trying on. I actually sent all of those pieces back already like six or seven months ago. So this is a brand new box of uniform not tried on untouched I have not worn these yet but I do have some frame of reference as to what they're gonna look like because I was already wearing a very similar um, version of them when I did the wear test last year we got to choose between two different types of material it was a synthetic option or it was also a wool option and I went with the synthetic one because I got the chance to already try both of them and I much preferred the synthetic option over the wool one so that was my own personal opinion um, but I did have a lot of flight attendant friends reach out to me and they were like which one should I get you were you were in it you tried it which one did you like better so I definitely recommended that one for a lot of people but I know a lot of people really like wool and wool is a very nice material so I know a lot of people um, decided on that one with all that being said let's break into this box right got my scissors I guess I need two hands to open this up so I had to put the camera down over there all right so here we are with that all right, so this is the bag um, that I have for any returns. So I'm going to set that aside. Here it is. Look at all these materials. Got the shirts over here. So these are the scarves. I absolutely love these scarves. I will try that on and show you in just a second. Belt. Like half the box was these blazers. I have the dress on right now. Um, and I'm just taking my scarf out of the wrapper right now, and then I will get that all tied on. Love this scarf. Um, the material is so soft and so thin and so nice, so I'm really excited about this new scarf. Um, so let me put it on really quick. Let me um, show you really quick in the mirror. All right, so this is the dress right here. Um, it's a little bit long. I obviously don't have any stockings on. It actually feels really nice. I know a lot of people end up getting the dress um, a little bit tailored, but it's really hard to walk in right now because I have this uh, the string still attached to the back, so it's like a really tight pencil skirt on me. And one of my other favorite pieces about this is there are two little bumps right here on the dress. Um, and so it gives you the perfect little spot to pin your wings, and that way you don't have to worry if your wings are sideways or even or too high or too low it gives you the exact spot to pin your wings right on your dress okay so i decided to do the white shirt in the short sleeve option because we actually have a signature flight attendant piece for the next shirt so i'll do that in the long sleeve option this is our pencil skirt so we have two skirts actually the a line and this one all right i'm really quickly going to open up the suit jacket Laser, because I really think that this part of the uniform completes the look. So I want to give you a look at that. All wrapped up. Here we have the blazer part of the uniform. 
which is really nice. Um, I will probably get this tailored just because I'm very broad shouldered. So I go up a size or two because of that. Um, but then it's like way too big in this part of my body. So I'm going to get this baby fitted a little bit more. Um, so hopefully I'll do that in the next couple weeks. This is our fancy little print that is just for the flight attendant part of my company. So these are our special signature shirts. If you ever see somebody wearing this shirt, that means they are a flight attendant. The gate agents got their own signature shirt and then any of the people at my company that work for the premium service um, department, they also have their own shirt. And they also have a different variation of the scarf, so that's kind of fun. All right, so here it is all tucked in. All right, so this item is actually a skirt and shirt combo, but this is called the shacket. It's like a short sleeve jacket. Really quick, our old uniforms were actually just like this, but they were gray and a different material, and some of the pieces of it were just like a little bit different, but we did have a shacket, and I never wore the shacket with our old uniform. I didn't really love how it looked on me, um, but actually now that I have it on, I don't mind it too much. Um, it's really not too bad with this skirt little combo. It looks just like a dress, actually. But you know what? I'm. I'm actually realizing right now as I'm opening everything, I didn't get a pair of pants and now I'm trying to remember back um, when I ordered everything if I had actually ordered a pair of pants. So I might actually not have ordered a pair of pants because I usually don't wear them. Either that or maybe it's still um, arriving in another shipment because they had just such a large number of orders um, that it took a while to get mine compared to other people's. Okay, I have two more items to show you guys. The first one is this gray sweater which actually feels so soft. I was really, really excited with the sweater options that they gave us for this new uniform. And this is the one that they decided on. Um, so let me go show you it in the mirror. It is a blue zip up and it is really, really soft. This uniform was produced by Lens and so the sweater options are just so great. Last piece, big bag. So this is our piece of the uniform that is our outerwear and it is a blue jacket. Now this blue is called aviation blue so it's kind of cool they made their own um, shade of blue for our uniform and they named it after our industry. This jacket actually has two layers. It has an inner layer that can zip out so you can just wear the shell piece of it. Let me go show you in the mirror. Here it is. It actually seems really big on me. Um, I wore this a lot when I did the wear test last year because I did it in the winter actually and I live in Chicago so it was pretty chilly so I did wear it a lot. It's really great because it has these little cinchers right here so you can give the coat a little bit more shape right here throughout your hips. I think I'm actually gonna keep this size just because it is a little bit large feeling I think. It will work well once I have um, like multiple layers on and stuff like that which I sometimes do in the winter because it does get really cold here in Chicago. Okay, one more piece. I just remembered <laughs> that I haven't opened it up. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna try it on, I'll just show it to you. Um, also, I pinned my wings on it just to um, give you guys a little glimpse of what it would actually look like once I get my wings on it. But here is my topper, my apron. And I actually got two of these in my package. So there's that so I can wear that on the plane. Okay, now I've officially showed you everything that is in the contents of my package. Pardon my um, pile of clothes I have over here. I was just throwing everything over there as I was taking it off. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. I know it's been really, really exciting for a lot of the flight attendants, a lot of my friends, as we've been receiving these packages to open it up, especially for people that were not on the test team. It's their first time seeing it. So I think this is a really exciting time um, for work for a lot of my coworkers. But I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and seeing me unbox my new uniform. You will be seeing me wear this full time as my uniform in all of my vlogs and stuff coming up in a couple months once we start wearing it. I can't wait to be wearing this uniform and showing you guys that as I go to work and stuff. I think it's going to be really nice to be in this uniform. Finally, it's been very long awaited, so I know that's really exciting, and it has been the talk of the town at work. Everyone has been asking everyone, have you gotten your packages yet? Because we've all gotten ours at different times. Thank you guys so 
much for tuning in with me and sharing this experience. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to check out some of my other vlogs, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you get notifications when I am posting new videos because I'm always traveling and trying to create more content for you guys just to give you some insight on the life of a flight attendant. We'll see you the next time on the daily departure and hopefully really soon in this new uniform. Oh no, I missed a button. <laughs>